you all have like those, we all have like square head sails. And the square head sails, why are they invented originally, is not so much to get extra sail area up there. It's only invented to get the twist of the main from top to bottom. So the actual twist of the main goes very gradually from top to bottom open and closed. We want the leads to stand, to be straight, the moment where we need maximum power. So it means like maximum sheet on, and that's the moment where we just start to be able to pop the hull. That's where we want the leads to stand. In order, and it's most of the time at around seven, six to seven knots where we can start to pop the hull. Under those, under those conditions, so less than six, seven knots, the top is designed to, to stand at that moment. And how does it stand at that moment? Mast, boom. This is the supporting line in the main, in the in your main sail. It means like physically, from the top to the mast to the boom, we can we can tie a piece of rope and we can pull them on tight. Anything of the sail. After this point, has to stay up, has to like somehow find a way to stand. And to actually withstand that pressure of the breeze. And the way it does that is through the battens and through its shape, actually. So from a top view, yeah, the mass rotation is a bit far in, but that's a mistake we really. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say our supported line to this pattern is at this point. Uh, we can only pull that line, we can only pull that, that supporting line so tight. This pattern, or this form of the shape the shape of the sail here, starts to lean against that line. Does that make sense? Yeah. It means if the sail is flatter. Let's say if it's straight, that means our leads will be here. If the shape will be here, the flat it will be there. If we sheet out, that supporting line is getting more room. And also makes it that we can have the leads at that point. Sales are designed that this head can withstand like six, seven knots of breeze and not open yet. It means under there, underneath that, that breeze, and we look from behind of the we look behind the boat, you will see that the sail has is a natural of the top to, to stand like this. And how to help the sail to we need to help the sail in the light breeze to come to here. Actually, a little bit off. And the way to do that is by pulling Cunningham. And how much? Sometimes you get up to 50% of Cunningham, a good amount of pull on the Cunningham to help the leads to open up. And why do we do that? When we come back to our telltale story, not fairy tale, but telltale, <laughs> the telltale in the top is the one we're looking at, the telltale in the head of the sail which we have like good vision of seeing and if they uh, are setting them up with the main sheet. So let's say if the sail is like this and we sheet, we, we think we do a good sheeting to the top of the sail, that means like the actual bottom of the sail is too far open. So by getting the head of the sail, getting the head of the sail more 
help, help the sail more to a straight line, it means that we close the whole lid of the sail instead of having the bottom open. And that's the thing which is really hard to see from on the boat. But when you go and stand behind your boat, you trim and it, like today is, is not an our breeze to do it, but it's just a little bit of breeze which we had yesterday or the day before. And you put your sail up and you look from behind, you can actually see if the lid is straight or if it's still curved or if it's going off to the other side. That's the thing you need to you need to know for yourself, like okay, we look we look from behind, we see like ah, it's still doing that. Okay, try a bit of Cunningham, pull some Cunningham. Ah, that looks good. Now now it's straight and we actually see that we can close the whole lid. Yes or no? You play a little bit the main sheet, it's like a trim in, yeah, boom, it's there. You sort of need to, to sign off for yourself, okay, the Cunningham is about this much in these conditions. You need to know that about your main sheet. And I don't know if you've noticed, but we've been playing quite a bit because this was a new mainsail for us, so we needed to learn where is that position of this mainsail, how much do we need to pull for that, to get that right position in the light conditions. So if it's like really light, you've got some main and some cutting I want, and then the breeze picks up a bit more, you need that extra power, that's where you let it off to get the head standing again and to get the maximum power. Even when we go downwind in those light conditions, you keep that cutting them on because that, that's the way your leads need, that's the amount your leads need to be straight and to be twisted. Because also on the downwind, if the head's too closed, it's stalling. The stalling is slower than having that little bit of extra depth by not by using the cutting end. Are there any, any more questions about this? <coughs> thing? People. It's one thing because so there's like you try to get both your all your upper lead tails flying in that light condition yesterday. Yeah, but <coughs> all the upper lead tail tails, you will see that a lot of the tail tail, a lot of sails, if this is the attachment of the shroud, they have the, I don't know which, must be a gnarly sailmaker who does that, but they put the tail tails at this spot. <coughs> You can never get those to fly because there's, there's always disturbance of the actual hound and the wires there. So you're always fighting it. So I just peel it out so it's not annoying anymore. <laughs> <laughs> More important is, like, and I, I reuse them, I don't throw them away. Like the ones here at the top, it's nice to know also what's going on here in the back. Just like about 20, what is it, uh, 10 inches from the back. It's nice to know as well what's going on there. You, you place them there as well. But other than that, there are more, more disturbance. Is that the only spot you have telltales on your main then, right there? Or? Yeah, those in here a little bit on the leech. The top four on the leech. Yeah.